Hi fam. I uh, got some newspapers from a friend that I used to write for. Um, he's located in Muskegon, but his papers go all over Michigan and he wanted me to distribute some in Detroit. But uh, of course, you know, I'm, I'm going to read what, what's in here. And um, I found an interesting article that I want to share with you guys. The name of it is The Religious Code. Um, the writer begins, he starts, he starts off by talking about Muskegon, but trust me, it gets better. Okay, so try to hang with me. The Religious Code, The Religious Binding of Black America, A Message to the Clergy. In 1634, the French explorer Jean Nicolet spent the summer exploring the shores of Lake Michigan, and in the succeeding years, a historic procession of explorers, traders, and French priests followed his trail. Fur trading was the first industry in Muskegon about the year of 1635. Father Jacques, Jacques uh, Marquette, a Jesuit missionary and explorer, is known to have set foot in Muskegon on May 17, 1675. The Ottawa Indians were the first people there. Chief Pendleton was their leader, followed by Chief Pontiac. Maps printed in Paris before 1700 showed accurately the outlets of rivers emptying into Lake Michigan, giving the location of the Muskegon, White, and Grand Rivers. Any account of the Indian settlement at Muskegon begins with the story of the fur trade. It is more than 350 years since the, first, since the French first appeared in Michigan and laid the foundations for a vast and prosperous empire built on the fur business. For a century and a half, the Muskegon River Valley saw an extensive, tr saw an extensive traffic in skins. The English controlled the fur trade from 1759 to 1796. Following the American Revolution, the American Fur Company became the greatest economic factor in Michigan and the Northwest for some 50 years. In 1779, the English maintained a black agent here in Muskegon whose purpose was to prevent Indian corn and other supplies from going to George Rogers Clark from the French and Indians who were in sympathy with the Americans. He was known as Black Peter. From the ship's log, it appears that Peter was a permanent resident kept here by the English and paid by the English. In 1795, the United States gained control of the fur trading posts at Detroit and Mackinac. But it was not until the following year that American garrisons took over and the English and Scotch continued to dominate the fur, fur trade on Lake Michigan until after the War of 1812. In 1812, John Baptiste, Baptiste Recollect began to occupy a trading post which was situated about 110 yards west of the mouth of Bear Lake. In 1833, Z.G. Windsor came to Grand Haven to arrange a treaty with the Ottawa Indians for land north of the Grand River. In 1839, lumbering mills were erected. In 1837, the first state legislature met and townships were created. Muskegon Township. Uh, Mus Mus Muskego was one township. The following year, the name was changed to Muskegon Township, a subdivision of Ottawa County, which was established in 1821. Muskegon Township, as then organized, included all the southern part of what was then Ottawa County. The last of the Indians left in the 1850s through the 1860s for reservations in Oceana and Mason Counties. 
there is mention of a black man who was the first to investigate the great fire of 1874 in downtown Muskegon. Now, we're getting to the interesting part. You know what? I'm going to make this a part two because the interesting... We're going to make a part two. I'm sorry, guys. 